So we're going to do a brief introduction on WebAssign. And the first thing you're going to do is your browser. You're going to go to www.webassign.net. Hit enter. And here's WebAssign. Now, the first time you enter WebAssign, you want to go to I have a class key and use the class key that's in the syllabus. Once you have the class key entered, you're going to click on Submit. And you want to make sure that this is the course. For instance, this is MAT 212 Online Summer 2010. Okay, Instructor Philip Clark. That's the class. Yes, this is my class. I need to create a WebAssign account if you're doing it for the first time. If not, you can go to I already have a WebAssign account. Go to continue. At this point, you're going to choose a username, a password, and all other fields that are necessary to create an account. So once you have those fields filled in, hit create my account. Our account has been created, and we'll go to login now. At this point, you'll have three options. Purchase access online, enter an access code that you might have from a textbook or a bookstore or have gotten online, or you can continue the trial period. Trial period lasts 14 days from when you first set up your account. So you have some time to decide if you want to stay in the course before you purchase WebAssign for $35. Once you've purchased your code, you'll be able to enter WebAssign. When you're in WebAssign, this is what your main screen will look like. Homework assignments here, due dates here, the book that we'll be using for the summer. So when you go into a homework assignment, there's going to be a list of problems. Up at the top are the not problem numbers and how many points that you're receiving. So this assignment's worth a total of 76 points. As you go through the problems, you will enter numbers here and submit the new answers to question one. So, if we wanted to answer this, f of one is four. Let's do f of two, but let's do it incorrectly. One. So submit answers to question one. And we see that we got the first one correct, the second one wrong. You got unlimited attempts until the homework is due. Some nice features of WebAssign. The read it option, if you click on this, this takes us to this chapter in the book. And this is why the textbook is optional. You have access to any parts of the book that we have homework on. This is the exact text that you'd see if you bought the book. And you have the option of printing this. The practice it option. For certain problems, you're going to have the practice it option, and it's going to show you, give you some practice at this type of problem. The chat about it option, which will open up a chat window, and you can get live tutoring from Cengage. Now, number one doesn't have the final option, but I'm going to scroll down. And notice number three also has a watch it option. Many of the problems have these watch it options. This, to bring up a video that will walk you through solutions. When you're done with an assignment, it's automatically recorded in WebAssign. Yet again, you have as many attempts as you need up until the due date of the homework. Now, one other option you have, if you're running behind, you have an option of an extension request. An extension request can only be made on assignments after they've become due. An extension request will give you up to two days to complete the assignment past the due date, but you can only receive 70% of the points you get from there on out. So it's to your advantage to try and finish the homework on time, but if something comes up, any points that you get after the due date during an extension request, 
you'll get 70% of what you earn. The other option that we have down here is the Ask Your Teacher. This will send an email directly to me letting me know which problem you want me to look at if you have a concern about it. So, we'll go back to the main screen. Now the other thing, you should be keeping track of your assignments in WebAssign and your score. So, this is the homework system WebAssign. This is a brief introduction.